Hello and happy gaming everybody. I'm still defaulting to my friggin' autopilot every time I start up an episode, so I'm working on it. I'm still working on trying to change up the intro, but anyway, we're we are back and I understand that I missed yesterday's upload. I apologize. It was a late night at work followed by an early followed by an early morning at work today, so yeah, I felt that sleep was important, but today we are going to be doing the Mystery Box episode as well as the reveal for this week's theme run, so hopefully you guys are ready for that. I know I am. I'm looking forward to having a little bit of fun with it. Let's quick talk about the run. We are, as I said, we're doing a Mystery Box, but I realized two things. One, I haven't really used the Pace Robe in a while. And it has an evade chance, so there's another thing I haven't used, Gravity Onslaught. So today is, although not necessarily a... Hold on. <sighs> oh, pardon me. So while today isn't necessarily an Arcana Spotlight episode, I did kind of base things around, you know, I have a fine run for positioning and all that fun stuff. But just haven't really... Yeah, there's no real spot where I'm going to be in any more or less danger, so let's just go... No Atlas! Oh my goodness, look at that! The stars have aligned! Alright. Okay, I think that might be important just for dealing with Shu later on. But let's see what else is available first. <laughs> so today is going to be a rare example of a run where I actually want to use want to use melee. By the way, you might be wondering, hey Dark Sage, are you gonna pick up that Are you gonna pick up that wand just in case you get the magician's outfit? And my answer to you, good viewer, is nah, probably not. Like, I may regret it, but that is, even though the Magician's Outfit is arguably the best fusion relic, I don't like taking the Magician's Wand first because I am not a fan of having to... Well, okay, I thought it would get me over the gap, but I am wrong. But I don't like having my spellcasting speed decreased. And it's negligible in it's negligible in a ranged run when but when you're using a melee run you need you need every frame of advantage you can get and having to give up some of that advantage doesn't feel good Not that you were ever at advantage before, but being put at disadvantage is the real issue. So it does feel good to have everything upgraded early on. We will see if the trend of good fortune continues. Alright, having Ignition Rush explode at the end there is definitely a good feeling. Hey, what's up guys? I'm totally vulnerable. You wanna come and hit me in the face? Oh, look at that! Too bad. know how I feel about that one. I mean, that seems like it might be the right move, especially since it no longer says to, says, it no longer says to, to temporarily add unlimited charges to your dash arcana, but to your movement arcana. I'm gonna take it and see if that does what I think it does. Okay. As per usual, okay, take on a few more fights just to... Uh, 
just to make sure I have enough money for the upcoming floors. Oh, and I see a poison fairy up there. Well, you know we're not leaving without that fairy. Okay, so in this case, it really it was a typo. They don't just mean any movement arcana. They did, in fact, mean your dash arcana. So it's good to have that little bit of education, but now I feel a little disappointed. That's right, try to dash directly through the pillar. Who do you think you are, Zagreus? Beautiful. Alright, so Boots of Frenzy feels like it might have been a mistake. Would have been better to take the parachute. Because this is not one of those... Oh, pardon me. This is not one of those Dash Arcana that I really care about having infinite charges of. If, I, if this were more along the lines of Wave then yeah, I would definitely want that. As is, I don't mind Ignition Rush, I really don't. But it's not something that I feel I need to have infinite charges of. Thank you, Drea. There we go. Looks pretty good. There we go. All right. I didn't think you were long for this world, Mr. Knight of Flame. Alright, with the way my run is built, don't run into the guy using Ignition Rush. A lot of damage over time here with the Gravity Onslaught and the burn from my Ignition Rush. It's Kind of, it kind of feels like a, like a lot of control, but I'd say the more the merrier. The more the Inferno get. Oh, we also have Shattering Strike. Ooh, those are both good. Alright, so I'm likely only going to have the money for one, because hopefully going to be some good Ar Arcana Relic choices. I can't talk today. Christ. My brain confuses all the things I want to say, but I was absolutely right. There was definitely a good relic in the shop. So that means I can only actually afford one. So then the question becomes, do I take Inferno Cannon or do I take Shattering Strike? So the pros and cons of each are the idea that with are the idea that the shattering strike will be effective against Hello Doctor, how are you? I don't really have anything I want to give up. So yeah, we'll just kinda say no to that. 
So, the pros here is that Shattering Strike will be effective against the Twins. Inferno Cannon, on the other hand, will be effective against Shu. But this won't be effective against Shu. Ah, I'm torn. But it's also looking like I'm not going to have many options to even make a choice here, so ah, the hell with it. Yeah, I don't even have the money to make a choice, so oh well. I will take Shattering Strike, though. Because having, a, having another combat option is always a good idea, and... Hey, no. <clears throat> Never say it's a bad thing, it's going to be effective against the Twins. Alright, it'd be nice to get to get a base damage improvement. Alright, there we go. There's the combo counter. Back off for a second. There we go. Sorry, hun, we have to prep your fireball somewhere else. Lightning aspect. I very rarely use this, and it's not going to be effective against the twins, so don't expect to see me use it a lot here either. Isn't that right, Cecil? <laughs> He's like, what? What did I do? Oh, hold on! Lightning Aspect actually has little to no knockback. So that is a good way to just add on damage on a melee run. That actually gives, gives me a pretty decent idea for a build. Now knowing that Lightning Aspect has basically little to no knockback, it's just free additional damage. Okay, yeah, that's actually really good for a critical hit-based melee. Like I said, not an Arcana Spotlight, but my goodness, we are learning things. Might come back to the Paranamasicon, just for the effectiveness against council members. Man, I love dead ends. Don't you guys love dead ends? I just love knowing that I completely wasted my time going one direction when there's nothing there. Okay, I'm kind of digging this lightning aspect. And really digging the gravity onslaught. I mean, I've liked that one from the beginning, but that was just fun. So a lot of these aura ones are kind of fun. Lightning aspect. You know, obviously I like Vortex Veil. It's a shame Permafrost Bulwark sucks balls. That's, that, one, that could be a lot of fun.
Sweet, and it knocks me, knocks him right into me, so I can continue comboing. Not the best. Well, we're definitely upgrading Shattering Strike. Is there anything else here I want? And if there is, am I willing to am I willing to spend the money on it? Because actually, I kind of like what I have right now. Yeah, yeah, really big in lightning aspect. I didn't think I would, but this is actually better than I gave her credit for. What are you? Using Dash Arcana does that, okay. To be fair, it does mix nicely with Boots of Frenzy, but... Eh, I don't know. No, this lightning... I'm actually digging lightning aspect a lot more than I thought I would. Picked it up just on a whim because it was a freebie, and now I'm realizing just how effective it can be on melee builds. <laughs> Get equipped with lightning aspect. Lightning aspect ready. Is that oh thank you Drea said it before I'll say it a hundred times more it pays to have a good fairy companion Yeah, you might not be able to get shot, but you can still take extra damage, isn't that right, boy? See, this is a good way to do melee. You just surround yourself with stuff and then run in and create chaos. Hello, sir. I don't have anything for you right now, but maybe in the near future. Now, if I get enough money, is there one here that I would like to come back for? Maybe Deafening Symbol? Because that, that'll be kind of like a... Maybe not last-ditch effort, it's not quite the term I'm wanting to use for this, but a good way to help prevent getting stacked up projectiles. Do you have anything I want? Not really. I think I pretty much have my build at this point, so now it's just all about relics. 
Okay, so we actually need to head back to the beginning in order to find the rest of the level. Again, mostly just to get, to get a little extra money. And that was a decent chunk of change there. Glad I did that. So there's basically no chance that there's another combat room, so let's just go ahead and... Oh wait, I can't even afford the deafening symbols. Son of a biscuit! Alright, let's fight the boss first. Sorry, bub. You got nothing on me. Alright, and now we're getting plus 7.5% to my base damage. I can dig that. And just about everything here has kind of a powerful hit somewhere, so I'm quite happy with that. Well, I mean, lightning aspect doesn't, but you get the idea. What, what I'm trying to say is things are looking good right now. Unless I act like an idiot. It's funny, I didn't. I chose this run because I wanted to use Gravity Onslaught. Now I'm just kind of. I've just kind of casually forgotten about it. Punch! There we go. And I don't want that. Alright, so I'm going to try something a little different here. We're going to do the mystery box right away on 3-1 here. I normally do it at the end of 3-1, but like I said last time I changed it up, I'm thinking two things right now. One, well, three things. One, it's still five relics. Two, I barely have any relics, so it'd be nice to pick up at least one or two things that would be helpful. And three, I'd like to be able to use the relics that get dropped here for more than, like, a floor or two. So we carried it this far, there's no reason to delay it, let's just go ahead. And dropping the cube in five, four, three, two, one mystery box! Alright, so we... Ooh, Captain's Ring. Man, look at all the things that it's not going to be affecting. I'll take it anyway, though. So we've got Thesis on Defense, Captain's Ring, Noxious Dapper Cap, um, Pazu's Favorite Hat, and Icarus Wings. So, I will take all of these. Keep in mind, though, oh, Captain's Ring is actually doing quite a lot for me. But yeah, so, again, any combination, of, any combination of two of those, and I will allow you to perform it to design the... Wow, you guys are jerks. But yeah, any combination of those two relics, and I will allow you to design the run for my next open run. Yeah, with Captain's Ring, though, we should be doing a lot more damage. So... Honestly, this has felt like a very, like a very fun run. 
Like, I'm normally not too crazy about... Exploding Fireball would be a nice ranged option, and, then, and I could put the... I can put that over Shattering Strike for this floor. But let's see what sort of relics we find. It's a shame I've already seen both Nocturne and the Doctor, otherwise I would have something to give them. There's Cobalt Firestone, not bad. Soccer Cleans would be nice. I think I have a few things here that qualify as Movement Arcana. Then there's the, ob there's the obvious part of it's going to ultimately be better for me than just one more Arcana. Hello, Starbolt. So I know that Ignition Rush is going to count as movement. But will these two count as movement as well? I mean, I use them and I do move. So here's hoping. I know it won't affect Shattering Strike, because Shattering Strike plants my ass firmly, up, firmly in place. Is a lot more fun than I thought I would than I thought I would be having. Because everything has worked out to be be very very interesting. And yeah, yeah, I've learned a couple of things actually doing this. Okay, you know what? I'm actually okay with selling him the Icarus wings. Let's go back. Take the Cobalt Firestone. super comfortable with. I really do think that lightning aspect is the key to this, because the moment you touch an enemy, they just they just get shocked. And then once it's upgraded, you get those pulses of electricity. And I don't know, I think lightning aspect might be the key to me appreciating melee-based runs. I mean, we all have... Hello, what do we have here? Um, I mean, nothing that I want. But, I might come back for Elven Ears. Not the biggest fan of Idealist Scorecard, not gonna lie, but... Oh, did I completely forget to, pay him to actually pick up the Paranamasicon after saying that I would probably go back for it? God, I just remembered that. I suck.
I see things, but what things do I want? Well, not that. Okay, so it's kind of between Crimson Clover and Armor of Greed. Because at some point or another, I'm not going to care if I lose gold when I get hit. Uh, Crimson Clover is just good for that, for that sweet, sweet critical hit chance. There's Field Berserk. Sorry, you were the star of the last run, friend. So because I did miss yesterday's upload, I will be... I'll more than likely make up for it tomorrow. I'll make up for it with... I, there is a viewer request that I want to do. And then there is the theme run for Ayla from Chrono Trigger. ignored lightning aspect quite a lot. I'm wondering if that was now a mistake. Okay, this melee madness is nuts for me. That's what happens when you play with fire. Yeah, except for I was trying to not play with fire. I was trying very, very hard to do anything but that. Oh, what's wrong, guys? Was that was that quite shocking for you? might want to give myself a little bit of breathing room and pick up a health potion. Matter of fact, let's just go do that now. And I think looking at it, what I'm going to purchase <laughs> Okay, maybe not purchase, but you get the idea. Leaf. Great, I don't care. Also, yeah, I really do feel like for this particular Dash Arcana, Boots of Frenzy was a waste. Oof. <laughs> hmm, smart me. Too aggressive there, that was not smart of me. Thank you, Gravity. I like Mag Sphere, but I don't really need a defensive arcana right now. Still alive.
Doesn't that seem like overkill for one eh? for one rogue? No. Very strong run. I'm honestly quite surprised. Now, why would you offer me that here? No, give me the token of elegance on floor goddamn one. The hell's wrong with you? I'm gonna drop that and pick up the rocket. <laughs> Man, you can't go wrong with the rocket. Besides, they said it's surefire. <laughs> the hell with your torches. Who do you think you are? This is a very, very, almost primal run. Alright, somehow I managed to get a signature off on him without him retaliating. I mean, I paid for it later, but... Ow. Okay, never mind, I'm just gonna get my ass kicked now. Okay, so all that damage that I took, that was just because I wasn't being careful. I just wanted to get in there and smash his face, so... Basically, what I decided was, if I can just face tank his damage, then I'll do that and just end the run that much faster, so... There you go, but hell of a Mystery Box 22, don't you think? Had a lot of fun with this one. Definitely feel like Lightning Aspect was the MVP here. I might want to... Might want to just focus on that for a run. Alright, and I promised you that I would let you know what the theme run was, so... Here's the theme run. We are going to be looking at two aspects of death. In this case, both of them are the kind that bring death to you. I am, I am of course, talking about Thanatos, the, the aspect of death from Greek lore, and, well, the aptly named Death. So, the Grim Reaper twice. One of them being used for much more in a much more malevolent fashion than the other, so... Cast your votes for which aspect of death you want to see, one of them being named Very on the Nose. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you again very much for watching my videos and making it possible for this to be a thing. I very much enjoy doing this. I like you guys a whole lot, and I'll see you in the next one. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and bye-bye.